Okay, well, um, thank you for inviting me to this August panel. I, I've heard a number of the judges uh, on this panel tell their stories, and uh, so I'm going to take very little time because they have some great, great stories uh, among these, uh, these distinguished jurists. So, um, but in terms of, of um, getting to the bench, uh, it was never my thought to become a judge when I went to law school, and I was thinking about why would that have been, and um, it was probably due in part at least to the fact that there was no woman on the Superior Court bench in this state until 1970, and I didn't graduate law school until 77, so uh, there really hadn't been women judges, so that's probably partly why I never thought I would be on the bench. And what really motivated me to uh, seek the Supreme Court position, which I did in 1992, was, um, frankly, those of you who probably heard this before, what were the uh, Clarence Thomas confirmation hearings uh, in the US Senate. And the outrage that I felt, along with a lot of other women in this country, um, at the treatment of Anita Hill before the, se the Senate, and in particular, I think, my, the way that I felt about her story, I could actually uh, relate 100% to what she said her treatment was by her boss, then Clarence Thomas. And I thought, you know, there's such a lack of understanding of what women deal with in this, uh, in this legal profession, in this society, in general, in the workplace. Um, there needs to be a woman at the table, at the highest table in the profession that we all belong to, uh, whether it be the corporate uh, world or the world of law. And so it occurred to me that we needed a woman at our state Supreme Court, um, and that's what motivated me to run. And I will tell you, it's really not easy to run elections. So what the piece of advice that I would have to give you is, if you decide to run for a position or seek appointment for a position, you should do it because it's part of your passion. Being on the bench means something to you more than just having the title judge or wearing a black robe. If you do it for a reason, like I did, that is to give women a voice on the Supreme Court, it makes all of those daily um, trials and tribulations of running or, or seeking a, a, an appointment to the bench worthwhile because you know that at the end of all of this, um, you had a reason to do it and, and it keeps you going and when you accomplish it, uh, you actually have something that you will contribute day after day. So my advice is think about why you want to be a judge and make sure that it's a, a, a reason that's more than just wanting to wear the black robe um, and prepare yourself for some tough days, but keep that passion in your mind. Thank you so much.